When I do get the opportunities to play and when I do get the opportunity to step on the field and put my uniform on, it is more important to me now um, because I know what it feels like to have that taken away from me. My injury started back in 2018. It's kind of when I found out that something was like wrong. And it wasn't until after season and I went home for the summer and I met with a couple doctors back at home and we kind of figured out what it was from there. Um, it ended up being thoracic outlet syndrome and I saw four different doctors, two of which told me that they didn't want to operate because if they did, I wouldn't be able to play again. Um, so rightfully so, you know, I wasn't going to take that as an answer. So I went and I saw different doctors and the other two told me, yeah, we can operate. It's just going to be a long recovery. Thoracic outlet involves your brachial plexus and your nerves, a couple muscles in your neck and your first rib. So basically what happens is you have like literally a thoracic outlet where it's like muscles in your nerves run through and it swells and it starts compressing on your nerves. Basically in the surgery, what they do is expand that area. So they take your first rib out and then they took two muscles, uh, two scaling muscles out of my neck to give like that area more space. I feel like going into it, there was never a point in my mind where I thought I was gonna redshirt. Um, I just knew that it was gonna be a really rough fall for me. But it wasn't till I would say about October and I started having other symptoms and I was still having the numbness, still having the tingling in my hand and I didn't really know what that was from. So I saw another doctor and then they had told me that I needed an ulnar nerve transposition. So I decided to get that done in January and that's when I kind of knew that I was gonna redshirt that season just because I knew my body wasn't gonna be ready. It was really tough to accept the fact that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Um, it was hard enough going through one surgery and I feel like people don't really understand like how serious it was. But when I found out I needed a second surgery is kind of when I hit my like breaking point. Um, it was one of those like gut checks like, is this over for me or am I just sitting out one season? We were at practice one day and something happened and I kind of like was trying to hold it together and I just like lost it. And I remember Sarah coming into like the bathroom and she's like, are you okay? And that's when I like, like hit my like lowest point. I was like, I'm not okay. Um, like it was really hard. It was really hard to like be in that situation knowing that like I wasn't gonna play. Um, so I think that was like the toughest part for me was like knowing that I wasn't gonna step on the field like with my teammates um, and like put on a uniform at home as I think when it like really hit me the worst. It's still kind of in the back of my head of like, can I do this? Is my body gonna let me do this? Which, like that was really, really hard for me because I didn't wanna disappoint anybody. I didn't wanna disappoint myself. So it's really like the confidence factor that I think was the hardest thing to overcome was that like, I can do this. Um, there was so many times where like I questioned, should I just hang up my cleats and be done? And this one, rock deep in the center field. You can kiss that one goodbye. Was absolutely no doubt, Kayla, when Kayla Kessinger wrapped that one off her back. I guess like the best word I can describe it is it's like so surreal. Like I truly didn't think I was gonna get an opportunity to do that again. Um, and like the fact that people have the confidence in me, my fans support me, my coaches support me, my teammates support me, my family supports me, it's so cool. Um, it's so cool to be able to step in the lineup and be able to make that impact for my teammates. And having like a completely different outlook on it, I think is really good for me. And it's given me that confidence booster that I needed. Um, Cause being in that situation was really hard. And like being able to do that for my teammates and like have them support me and like rounding third base after a home run and like seeing their faces, like it means something so much more to me this year. I think like being in the role I was in last year, again, has helped me like appreciate the game so much more. Um, you know, I always like got to sit there and like pick the coach's brain throughout the game and figure things out. And I think I can take that now as like an upperclassman and having that experience and like share that with underclassmen and share that with my teammates and learn from those experiences. 
But I think, honestly, like, going through injuries, like, it's a blessing in disguise almost because you can figure out who you are as like a person and not just as an athlete because I feel like after your four years, a lot of people have to go through like a reality check of like, who am I? Um, and I got to do that last year when sports was taken away from me because you are a person and not just an athlete. And I think going through what I've been through has helped me with that and helped me figure out who I am, which then helps me become a better athlete.